go to LexCoreRender.org and then go to Downloads. Under Blend LexCore, click your OS and save the zip file to somewhere. Remember not to unzip it. Then in Blender, go to your User Preferences, then into Add-on. Click Install From File and find the unzipped download. Double click it and enable the add-on. Now it's epic start time my lad. If we go into the render tab and look at our render engines, there it is. Yeah boy Lux. Now that we've switched to Lux, our rendered viewport should look like this. If yours doesn't, then oof. You need to rewind a bit or ask me in the comments, I'll be there. After we've added some stuff to our scene, we can add in the Lux materials. Go to your materials tab and add a new material. Open the shader editor and then click show nodes. Click Disney for the principal shader. A. Now add in a texture, multiple images, and then find your desired material. Import the PBR maps. And then boom. There they are. Color to color, roughness to roughness, and because the normal map is a normal map, click normal map and then connect the bump to bump. We also click this neat little thing to add in a 2D UV mappy node. Connect all the maps to the mappy node. Bazinga, concrete. We can make the concrete small. Add in a metal material too. Hit that roughness for good measure. Also, in the scene world tab, we can add in the HDRI and import our entire freaking galaxy. Now, is where it gets interesting, my lads. New material, Disney, right? Well, if we look down here, we can see an emission thingy with an add button. Boom. Absolute unit of an emission note with actual absolute units of emission. I mean, artistic is there if you like eyeballing the lights, but there's also power, lumen, and candela if you know exactly how bright a particular light is and want to be accurate. Alrighty, anyways. Now onto the render. In the render tab, I'm going to switch to OpenCL for a slick GPU render and then scroll to update the GPU device. And also disable the CPU since it's not being used in the render. Also, enable the denoiser. And onto the render. Now, Lux defaults to rendering forever, which is nice if you want to leave it rendering overnight and then forget about it in the background for the entire weekend and come back to a 52,000 sample render. True story. Or if you want, you can add in a halt condition. We can also have Lux stop rendering after a certain amount of time or a certain amount of samples. Also, you can denoise the render whenever you'd like uh, without canceling it by pressing refresh denoiser. After it's done denoising, it'll go back to rendering and you can see how far it is. And that's about it. That's everything you need to know in order to get started with Lux Core Render. Of course, there's a lot that I did not go over that you probably saw and wondered about, but that's all pretty easy to figure out on your own, and this video was mostly meant to get you started with the engine. But, there will be more Lux content and tutorials on this channel. It's honestly my favorite render engine. And if you want to see that, you can subscribe. Otherwise, I'm CGX. Stay epic. See ya, lads.